you're not going to shout it from the mountaintop. The poor slave, without a dime to his name and without any formal education to speak of, wrote the words when we sing that song. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. The question before us today is, are we going to just sing about it or are we going to actually go and do what the song says? Are we willing to stand here this morning and give lip service to somebody? Or are we going to stand here and stand for Christ and be obedient? If your heart's not got a heart and a softness for those that are lost, you won't say anything. Your heart's become hard. The Old Testament prophet told us that when you have a heart of stone, that God will open it up and give you a heart of flesh. A heart for the gospel. A heart for the lost. And he says, not only that, not only will I give you a heart of flesh and replace that old heart of stone, but I'll give you a new spirit. That's the willingness and the drive to go tell it on the mountain. <coughs> and Jesus Christ is born. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, you need to receive Him today. The message is that God came to this earth, that He lived, that He died, and that He rose again, that you can live forever and have eternal life. I'm not special, and if He would give me eternal life, He'll give you that same thing. If your heart's grown cold and you need that desire to well back up, you need that revival of, that only God can give, God's waiting on you. You need to rebuild that relationship. You need to come to the altar. It might have been 30, 40, 50, 60 years, 100 years ago you received Christ. But if you've got a hardness about you, you need to come before God and get that right. This Christmas season, why would a child of Christ, why would a child of God go through this season with a hardness of their heart? Not just so that you go out sharing Christ with everybody, but you need it for you. If you've had that hardness in your heart, you know what that does to you. It's not good for you. It's not good for your family. And it's not good for anybody around you. And God wants to soften it. It'll help you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. You give you right, and all these other things will start falling into place. Do you need something from God? Do you need the altar this morning? Do you need time with God? Are you going to take the opportunity to get things right with God during this season? We call Christmas and change it from a, a day to a Savior. Will you change it from an event? to a celebration of Christ. We're going to close in just a moment. I want to give everybody that needs to an opportunity. We're coming into a high season. It's Christmas. It's the day my Savior was born. Without Him being born, I couldn't have been saved. Without Him being born, I couldn't have seen my children get saved. Without Him being born... The other people I've seen touched by Him and changed. I wouldn't have been able to witness and I've seen those things. Christmas. Oh, when Jesus can go to the Lord's mountain. Would y'all stand? Bow your heads and close your eyes and this please. Father, I thank you this morning that we come together in your house. That, Lord God, that we can lift you up, we can praise you. That, Lord God, we can exalt you, which means we lift you up and worship you. Father, I pray that you'll take and touch us and use us. 
That, Lord God, where there's hard hearts, that you will take and soften them. That, Lord God, where there's disobedience, that you will chastise us and make us obedient. Help us, God, that we could share our testimony, that we could share it within the sphere of our influence. And that, Lord God, that we understand that Jesus came, he died, and rose again because you love us. Father, we thank these things. Be with your people. But we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.